hope you're all coping okay and you're not too bored in this lockdown. Um, I'm going to show you a video about how to do a smoky eye that looks like you've got liner but you haven't got liner and it's going to be really really quick uh, method you can use as well. So the first thing I've done is obviously I've got no makeup on at all, I've just got some makeup primer and then I've done my eyebrows. If you want to know what I've used, I've used the Bourjois Brow Pomade Pencil. Um, this is in the shade Chartain, which is really good for blondes. We also have a brown one, which is better for brunettes as well. But yeah, I just use that and then just brush it through. Um, so the first step for the eyes is I'm going to use the Revlon Photo Ready uh, Color Stay Primer. So I'm just going to pop this on my eyelid. Um, this helps keep your eyeshadow on um, longer and helps it crease less. Um, I'm just going to focus on one eye so that this is a little bit quicker for you and I will just catch up when I can. doesn't need to be neat this step, just get it on as best you can. And then I am going to be using this Morphe, this is the 9 Eye uh, Eyeshadow Palette loads of nice colours that you can use uh, in there and I'm going to be focusing on the light colour here, the two browns in the centre and then this black colour uh, in the top. So first layer of colour we're going to use this uh, cream shade called Classic and we are going to apply this all over the eyelid just to give us our base and set our primer. Okay. So that's nice and matted out, you set your primer, you are now ready for some colour. So if you go into, I just use a mix of these two brown shades here and apply them in the crease. So you get them on the brush, just tap off the excess and then start building them in the crease of your eye, focusing on the outer corner, which is where you want the most definition to be and just sort of the lower lid, so sort of the outer corner V shape, so the V there. And literally blend it up quite high because you just want those edges really soft and smoky. And then if you're not sure and you think the edge is too harsh, just use the brush that we use first of all and just soften it with that. Okay, and that makes it look much softer. So when you have as much colour as you would like in the crease and it's dark enough for you, I'm just going to stick it like that, um, you can then add your liner look. So instead of using liquid eyeliner, you can make your eye look more smoky with a black or sort of powder liner. So we're going to be using this uh, dark shade here and we're going to be using a angled flat um, eyeshadow brush. So if you almost just sort of stamp it in the eyeshadow and then again tap off the excess, you're now going to stamp it along where your uh, liquid eyeliner would go. So if you just start in the middle, so you've just got a little bit there in the middle, get a little bit more and tap it off and then just go all the way along to the outer corner. And then I always take it the other way to do the inner. So just stamp it down here. Okay, so you've got a hint of liner. And then obviously, well, not obviously, if you want to do a flick, you can. So I'm now going to stamp it out that way. Okay, so you can see now that I've got the start of a flick. And now what I'm going to do is just get a little bit more of that eyeshadow and just sort of smoke it, build it up and then fade it out a little bit more. So literally just pull, apply and pull it, push it upwards. Okay, you can now grab the brush that you used for the browns, just get a tiny bit more, tap off the excess and then just blend 
a little bit more of this through, maybe over the lid as well, and out in that V, just blend those edges. And you can now see that you've got your smoky eye with the line. Okay? So, the next thing you wanna do is just blend the edges again with the brush you use first. So just blend those edges through, make it look a little bit softer at the edge. I'm just gonna catch up and do the other eye and then tell you what's next. So now you have both eyes done. Um, if you just grab a concealer, so I'm using the Maybelline Affinitone Concealer. This is the shade uh, Light Nude Beige 01, not light, just Nude Beige 01. Just get a little bit of this and pop it on your hand like that. And then if you grab a flat angled um, eyeshadow brush, a little bit like this, and just put some of the concealer onto the brush, we can now just sharpen up the wings that you've made with your eyeshadow so that when you put the rest of your makeup on concealer foundation, um, it looks like a really nice sharp flick. So I just pop it along here so that I know where my uh, concealer wants to go up to and blend into and it just makes the whole look a lot neater. So it's not a big thing but it is quite important for when you're blending your concealer and just again do the same on the other eye it just makes everything look so much neater when it's done okay so now if you just go and finish the rest of your makeup do whatever you want to do foundation concealer blush bronze highlight and then come back and I will show you uh, how to finish it off. Okay, so now your makeup is on and finished. You can see um, where the eyeshadow is and how it looks with the rest of the makeup and you can also see where we cut up there with the concealer, how neat it looks and it looks like a proper wing. If you want to, you can add a little bit more eyeshadow underneath. So if you use the same palette and the same two brown shades that we used uh, before, just on a flat brush like this, so I'm just going to grab a bit of both, tap off the excess, and then you can just add a little bit more colour underneath the eyes to sort of define your eyes a little bit more and maybe make it look a bit more evening. This is also a really nice look to wear with false eyelashes. Um, you could just add some strip lashes or just some little individuals into here and you could make it look really sort of smoky and a definitely a bit more for the evening um, but yeah this just gives a little bit of extra dimension to the look obviously you can do a different color if you want to you could do a pop of blue pop of green um, but I'm just gonna keep it simple and you can put on as much or as little as you would like but that just changes it up a little bit more and then the other thing I would always do to make it pop um, a little bit more is add a little bit of highlighter in the inner corners of your eyes so I'm going to use the W7 Glow Commotion, which is like a champagne sort of colour uh, highlighter. And I'm just going to use a small brush and just grab some, tap off the excess, and then just highlight the inner corner of my eye. This just makes your eyes, can you see the difference, look much brighter. If we add in the other one. This just highlights where a lot of eyes can get very dark. So that is your finished look. I will link all of the products that I used in the bar um, below and I will link them too so you can find um, them easily. If you do have any questions just leave me a comment below or um, get hold of me on our Instagram which is at beautifultimemulbra. Thank you for watching.